Okay guys, this is just my uh, my new recording of the uh, X1 box. I'm very excited to give you guys a little bit of a review of what I've seen and what this box can do so far. Uh, this is Mr. Rogers, by the way, obviously. Um, yeah, obviously. Listen to me. <laughs> uh, let me just adjust this so it's a little bit angled that way so you can see it better. Okay. This is a full mount swivel TV, but I just thought to give the full effect I could, uh, you know, get it just right for you guys here. Hold on. Let me try to adjust the, uh, I can't adjust it. Oh, well. Anyways, you guys can get, the, you guys can see the, the entire picture on the camera, so that's good. See how it tells you the forecast? This is just a screensaver, by the way, which after five minutes kicks in on the the new X1 box. Um, the the particular model box that I have is uh, the particular model box I have is the PX001ANM which is the uh, the XG1 essentially so there's that um, the box pretty much always stays on um, it all when, when if you want to you know do anything with the box it has to be connected to the coax and it has to be connected to the network um, otherwise you can't even get to the menu um, which is weird but it that's just the way it works so uh, just going on, moving on, um, this is the remote, uh, you guys can see that, it's um, known as the XR2, um, then this is the revision 1, I don't know if you can speak into this remote and it will bring up things on the TV screen because I don't have any channels yet, but I will soon, um, and when I do I'll again make another video recording, but as you can see, even from the screensaver, um, it shows you like the weather and stuff which is really cool um, and like say for instance um, I think the screensaver only comes up if you're not watching anything or if you're in the guide um, you can actually have it set up to where um, it will display what you want like you know it'll scroll through certain things um, if you're just sitting and in, in, in idle you know what I mean basically not watching anything and you're sitting on your guide um, and not doing anything and, and again you can re you can set that to your liking you don't have to keep anything that you don't like on here you can pretty much customize everything on this box that's why I love it um, the user interface is one of the best things about this box um, and the particular thing that I like the most and this is an un unseen um, thing is the uh, and this is the guide, obviously. Um, you'll notice that it is set up just like a media center bar, a media center box. How we pretty much had our stuff set up, um, which is kind of ironic if you think about it. <laughs> um, as you and obviously, as you can see, uh, the on-demand is almost set up just like Netflix um, and similar programs. So that way, you, like you, like if you want to go through a TV series. Um, you know, it gives you information on specifics on whatever it is you that, that you want to watch and you just hit the info button to get some more info on that particular show. Um, and then, you know, you can also look for more like this, the cast and crew and to see what other movies they're in, um, as well. So if there's a movie you like with like, say Nicolas Cage, not saying he's a good actor by any means, but, um, just saying if, if for, 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 for instance, um, you're looking for Nicolas Cage, it will give you a whole list of Nicolas Cage movies, which is pretty cool. Um, and, and here we, we go um, as far as the apps. You'll notice down at the bottom, you get the weather app, obviously. Um, so it tells you what it's like outside for that day, and maybe even future days, I'm not sure yet. It gives you sports updates, uh, voicemail, which is, I'm pretty sure, cool. You know, so if someone calls you, um, and that, I'm sure that has to do with the triple play package. It has to probably be integrated into that for that to work. So, um, w without the, the triple, the triple play here, I'm trying to get my finger so you can see the emphasis, 
the triple play option, um, you, you, that's the, probably the only time you get voicemail to work. So there's that. Um, you get horoscopes if you're one of those retarded people that think horoscopes actually matter. Um, stocks, so you can watch the NASDAQ drop 70 points in one day and uh, part of the government just fall and collapse, which I like to do. Um, it's fun to watch on a daily basis, so there's that. Um, you can also look into traffic, which is uh, actually a pretty cool app if you ask me but hey that's just me and then the that's just the dashboard apps and I'm pretty sure you can add more um, with future updates as far as internet apps you get Pandora so you can listen to radio um, although the box does come with music channels um, in my area it's 501 through 550 or 560 or 570 something like that you get like you know your hip-hop classical uh, jazz um, punk, you know, all that stuff. Um, and then, of course, you have to have your Facebook app, um, which <laughs> I don't know how to work that because I don't really have a Facebook account, so I couldn't tell you. Um, and then you have news, obviously. Um, so that's it for the apps on the, on the box itself. Um, and then this is where you can search for your TVs, movies, and more. It's almost it, it like it'll ba it it basically reminds you of uh, Netflix, you know. So when you go to a Netflix search, you will get something similar to this, you know. So there's that, and then you have your settings where you can set up anything that you like at your discretion, um, which I'm going to I'm going to do right now. My device settings. Um, this I'm just going to leave the way it is. 720p, that doesn't seem high enough for me. Does it seem high enough for you? No, I didn't think so. Parental controls, that's a really useful function, especially when you have kids and if you have, uh, you know, skin and max on late at night. Um, and, you know, not like saying that the, your kids would ever be in the room, nor should they be. Uh, but if you ever want to put a, you know, block on that so your 13-year-old son doesn't get to see any skin of Max or um, even you know Playboy Channel for that matter you can set that up um, you get notices um, and it also gives you specific information about the box where you can also update the version of your particular cable box which is actually very cool um, my device settings I'm gonna actually set up um, so I get my 1080p so let me just try to figure this out here okay this is just gonna take me a second I haven't really ever really worked on this box before so video display there we go okay so you just go to go to whatever it is that you want and then you scroll down to what it is you want my TV can support 1080p 16 by 9 and 60 Hertz so I'm gonna do that and then your TV will automatically go to that native resolution and uh, you'll be all set with that. That's if your TV supports it, obviously. Um, and then you go back to your regular audio. You can set it up uh, with stereo. Like I have the surround sound that I haven't hooked up yet, but um, you know, obviously you can set that up if you like. Um, screensaver, like I was going over before, um, you can set up your screensaver to go over, you, you know, start screensaver after, say, 15 minutes, because that's my, my rough time to browse through the uh, the guide and say I want to set up you know future recordings <clears throat> as far as um, when the box um, starts recording stuff you know um, then you have you can actually name your device which is pretty cool I just set mine up as living room because that's what it is um, so there's that and the device lights you can actually set up with the power button the dimness and stuff um, the clock light on the front panel, which is what you will see most of the time. I don't think you can change that. Um, you can't change it to the channel number, which I don't understand why, but you just can't for right now. Um, you can restart your device, so if you are having problems, you can restart it and see if that uh, rectifies any problems that you have. Um, so there you see my output resolution changed to 1080p with 60 hertz. Um, that's pretty good uh, setup right there, but like say you want to go back to the regular, you know, settings, you just hit the Xfinity button and uh, it brings back the top menu, which is where you get all your 
your information from. Um, so they, you have it. You, you pretty much have your on-demand button, which I'm not going to be able to use for me. <laughs> but um, it is it is tempting. It is very tempting to look through and to uh, see see what they do have um, and whatnot. So you got your TV shows. Um, you know, obviously you can you can search by network, whatever you like to do, um, which I think is really cool. Premium TV, news channels, um, networks. Okay, yeah, you can search by network, which I think is a really cool function. Um, you know, so you have that. And then stream picks, which is, like I said, um, very similar to Netflix. You know, they pretty much want to compete with, you know, the hopper by having the any room DVR and also giving you the capability of rep recording on this particular box five shows at once while watching a sixth show that you don't have to record, which is, I think, a very, very awesome feature to this box. Probably the best selling point, if you ask me, um, minus the, you know, the funky transitions that you have to go through to, to see what you want. Um, you know, but this, the on-demand section is really set up just like, um, Netflix so that's what I mean this is just my video review of it um, I'm sure other people are gonna have their own reviews but I'm just trying to be as thorough as possible that way you guys can see everything that comes along with the X1 platform boxes um, and again I am uh, selling my own uh, personal stash of these boxes um, for a pretty decent price so if you guys are interested feel free and you know private message me and we'll see what we can work out um, multicultural so if you're African American or just black as I call people um, like they are you know they're either American or not you know there's no in-betweens I, I, I'm not trying to sound racist or anything but you're either American or not you know so there's no African American or, or Italian American you're either born in this country and you support your country or you're from another country and you support that country and that's just the way I see it so if you're Asian you're Asian you're not Asian American you're just Asian or you're American if you're born here that's the way I see it I mean it's pretty clear cut if you think about it um, anyways with, with that being said and, and further ado um, so yeah, like see how it says Asia. It doesn't say Asian American, but up here you'll see African American. Come on now. How much more rights could you get? With all due respect, like I said, with all due respect. So don't get mad. <laughs> uh, recently viewed, you do have that. So um, obviously, you know, the last person that used this box didn't really watch anything. I guess I don't know. <laughs> um, get local. I guess you can search for local channels, um, which is, I don't think it has anything to do with cable, but it's like over the wire, you know what I mean? And then they have Xfinity services where you, you get your voice, your, which is your telephone, your internet, which is your uh, part of the triple play that they try to sell you with this particular, with this particular package. Um, and at the bottom left hand corner, I don't know if you guys can see it, but you guys will always notice that you'll get your time and you'll get the uh, current weather conditions for outside at, at the time that you're going through your, your menu. So that is actually a really cool function as well. So you'll know if you want to turn on your AC. Uh, that would actually be a pretty cool app if, if you could actually integrate your air conditioning system into your cable box so that um, it kicks on whenever it gets so hot outside. I think that would be a cool app. But hey, that's just me. Um, so yeah, they have the Freeview Latino kids. Um, and this is just all on demand stuff. Um, and I mean, like I said, I can't use any of this. So I feel pretty damn bad and sad about that. But um, as far as the on demand section goes, it, you have like a plethora of information to go through and sift. Um, and see what you have. DVR, um, I'm still working on that. Um, and so is uh, another person that I know that I spoke with earlier today. Um, he was telling me about um, initializing the box and actually having it uh, married to the box. So um, we'll see if we can get 
um, hard disk, hard drives to format more than two two terabytes um, at a time. That way, we can possibly get up to four terabytes of space, which would be ideal in a in a perfect world. Because um, if you're recording in HD, you'll notice that you'll only get up to like I mean maybe 200 hours on two terabytes. If more, you might get a little bit more, maybe 260 hours. I don't know exactly because I haven't ever really filled up my DVR with two terabytes of space, you know what I mean? So, um, and there's a lot, like say if you watch shows, like Cops for instance, um, <laughs> yeah, I've watched a lot of Cops, um, or say you watch Food Network um, series or something like that, like food, like uh, Iron Chef America or, um, I don't know, Spike TV or, you know, any, any, any shows that you like, you know what I mean, and you want to record new episodes like for instance I'm gonna I plan on recording the whole new Walking Dead episodes as they come you know what I mean so if I'm not here for instance on Halloween night if when I go to take my kids out um, I'm gonna have it set up to record and I won't even be here and I'll know uh, you know in the back of my mind that I'll get to watch my my uh, my, my, my my show later you know so there's that um, this is my guide for my now, I wouldn't say this is my area, but just um, as you can see on the left hand column, it does show you each channel um, and it shows you the corresponding channel logo. Um, and this was really indicative of our idea for a media center, um, which uh, MacGyver12, myself, along with some other members, we kind of had this set up. Um, this pretty much exact setup on our computers um, and I feel as though you know Comcast slash Xfinity came and took our idea right from us because um, it was made publicly available for anybody to use which I'm not going to blame them for taking it and using it because that's what they do they take other people's ideas and they run with it you know and uh, but in this instance this this speci this particular box um, with this particular platform, I am I am actually very pleased with it. Even though I haven't gotten it, you know, activated or working yet, um, the just the what it has um, integrated into it alone is very um, cool and you know straightforward, easy to use. Um, it tells you what's on right away. There's no waiting for guide uh, information. It's just there. I mean, it's. Uh, it's almost like it comes straight from the internet like the the cable box itself has it's like pretty much updated right through the internet even though it's not hooked up through the internet I don't know how to explain it um, but this is just my review of the box um, but like if you want to go through page up and page down you have those buttons right there on the left um, so I'll just page down one so I get to skip an entire page instead of you know scrolling through one at a time by hitting this button over and over again so you just hit page down and you get the next page you know so and um, as far as um, what you can get for guide data I want to see how far over you can actually go okay I can't really hold the button down it's not letting me do that okay yeah now it is <laughs> but as you can see it does um, actually populate quite quickly um, with pretty much everything and this is just like a day's worth in advance so like if you were to just unplug your box like with the DCX models you have to wait um, at least like 20 minutes to a half an hour for your guide um, information to populate or repopulate and whatever you have saved for recordings um, like it future recordings you have to wait for those channels to come back for them to actually record otherwise they'll record as um, you know unknown channel or whatever the hell it is you know and you when you're going through your DVR settings and what you've recorded it'll show up as not really what it was recorded as but as um, like unknown channel and this and that and I really don't like to have anything like that in my setup I want to have everything um, in my setup to be nice and straight and organized so there's that um, and again you you other channels are pretty much lined up it gives you a nice um, 
easy to understand layout in the bottom left hand corner it gives you the outside temperature um, which you guys can see um, so there's that so as far as like getting like packages and whatnot um, like I said and, and and this is the biggest selling point for this particular model box that Comcast is selling you can record five things at once and watch a sixth show that's not being recorded at the same time as five other shows simultaneously recording at the same time so which I don't think anyone would ever utilize unless they really like to watch the same shows or the same five or six seven eight nine channels at the same time and they just happen to have like new episodes on them at the same time which I doubt they will um, I could see having like a, a four tuner but I mean they, they went with the five tuner and then the the, the six tuner um, non recording setup which I mean this is all a ploy just to, to to fight with Dish Network and try to get more customers but we all know that Dish Network offers a more competitive um, you know uh, clientele or not clientele more competitive um, setup than Comcast does um, but with Comcast they make you get the triple play if you want to get set up with the uh, PX001 ANM box which is this particular box it's the it says on the on the front of it it actually says something completely different it says Xfinity on it obviously remote data record and then it says XG1-P right next to the power button which I'm assuming it means XG1 power button um, so which kinda makes sense um, so going through all these channels you guys can just see um, you know particular time date um, oh yeah filter button that has nothing to do with like filters outside that's um that's um HD premium and favorite so you can filter out what you actually want to watch um, so I just I chose HD um, so if I want if I particularly wanted to watch just the HD channels you can you can have it set up so that it just looks for HD channels HD ch channel sorry uh, you got all your NHL game game channels which I need to get um, fixed on my other box you gotta get on that see <laughs> um, and then you got your MTV um, as well as your other channels they, uh, in my opinion they should have made the channel logos just a tad bit bigger um, as well as the channel number um, but that's just my opinion so as far as the actual layout though um, I mean it doesn't get any better than this I mean every channel pretty much has its own um, you know layout um, it, its own um, guide data uh, it, it gives you information on what you want to watch um, if I say for instance I want to watch X triple uh, X State of the Union you go to info it shows you all about it um, you go over to the right hand side it shows you more just like that um, so I mean these are just like just I mean this is just getting into the min bare minimum of the functionality of the box um, and the, and the platform itself which I, I, I tend to actually enjoy quite much um, to be honest with you so going back to the guide you can actually have your guide set up like this or you could have it set up like this so you can set it up either way you like it I like to look at it like this but if you want to say look at see what's on on that channel you can just scroll through um, you know hit that channel it'll go to that channel um, and you know obviously I have to um, call them to get set up but hey don't tell anybody this is just between you and me <laughs> um, for instance like if you wanted to go back to um, yeah I'm an idiot guide go back to the guide that you wanted to look at I need to get out of this hold on alright guide and then hit guide again you get the um, this other guide on the, left, the right hand side which is cool too because you can actually you know just quickly scroll through see what's going on um, not really much info 
uh, but it does give you the channel logo, the number of the channel, and what's playing uh, currently. So that's actually really cool. Um, and again, I don't know if this remote um, is capable of it, the XR2 um, per revision one, but you, like with one of the remotes, you are able to actually speak into the remote, and it will bring you. Um, to whatever it can find on a particular uh, TV show. I don't know, like you, if you guys have seen in the um, commercials, it shows a guy talking into the room where he says SpongeBob, and it just shows all the info for SpongeBob. I'm sure this box is capable of it, and the remote is too. I'm just not sure on how to, to work it. Um, but this is uh, pretty much it as far as the um, overall usage of the box goes. Now, the last thing I want to show you guys is the um, HD, H, uh, the DVR. Um, as you guys can see right here, it does show you how much you have full, but unfortunately it will not tell you um, how much space exactly it is that you have on your DVR, which I do not like. I think it should tell you an exact amount, like um, in terabytes or gigabytes or whatever bytes. Uh, <laughs> so that you can get a better understanding of what it is that's on there. Um, you can, you know, go through your favorites. Um, you got your deleted. So if you deleted something, maybe you can get it back. I don't know. Um, your recordings. And then, let's see if I can find more info on recordings. No, this, ain't, this doesn't work. But... I'm going to try to figure out a way to get a larger hard drive on there. I'm sure I can get two terabytes easy on there. Um, as far as getting three to four terabytes, that's going to take some more um, testing and expertise than what I'm familiar with. So I'm going to get a, I'm going to try to get a little bit of help from somebody else on the forums with that. So um, I just uh, I mean I'm coming up on the half an hour mark here and. Um, you know, you guys haven't even seen what the box looks like yet, so I'll, I'll show you guys that uh, so you guys can see what that actually looks like as well. So, hold on. Um, okay. Alright, so the box itself is right there. Um, that is the PX, or, yeah, it's P. I'm not sure. It's P something um, 001 A&M. P N P X 0. Uh, you know what? Screw the guessing game. I'll, I'm going to tell you right now exactly what it is. I told you earlier, but um, it is a P X 001 A&M. That's exactly what it is. So, that is the model of the box. So, PX000, PX001 ANM is the model of the box and um, it has a couple of different ports in the back which I'm not going to go over in this video but um, this is what the overall box does look like. It does come with, with a hard drive installed um, and I would not look for any other box besides this at this current time because they have the one uh, which is also like a RNG 150N knockoff, which looks exactly like this box, but it's slightly smaller. Uh, but it doesn't have a hard drive in it, so you would get the same platform, but you would not get any of the DVR space. So I would stay away from that. Um, so if you guys do plan on getting a box, um, I would get what the PNX. 001 ANM. That's the model number of the box that you're looking for. X1. Um, and then right there it says XG1 dash P, which the, the dash P obviously means power. Um, and it's an XG1 box. But that's, that's like a misconception because it's not really an XG1 box. It's a Pace X1 box. Um, but also known from model number PNX001 ANM. Um, so there you guys have it. There it is. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my little video tutorial and walkthrough of the box um, and what it has to offer. Um, and hopefully the next time I make a recording, 
you guys will actually get to see it in action with the channels on and everything. And uh, take care.